What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out another budget friendly action camera from 8man called the A87. So according to the manufacturer this action camera can record in 4K at 60 frames per second and we also have IMI stabilization at that resolution. But we are gonna talk more about that later on in the video. So we are gonna split this video in four sections. In the first section I'm gonna show you what comes in the box and we'll take a quick look at the camera itself. The next section has to do the internal microphone, so I'm gonna show you some sample recordings so you can see how the internal microphone sounds. Next we are gonna see some sample recordings so you can um, check out the image stabilization. And after that we are gonna see some more videos so you can talk about the video quality for daytime and nighttime recordings. And with that being said, let's start by checking out what comes in the box. Alright, so the camera comes in a pretty nice carrying case, it makes it much easier to take the camera with you everywhere you go and inside you're gonna find the waterproof case and the, once again according to the manufacturer this is good to up to 40 meters in the water but I haven't exactly been diving so I can't really say if that's um, true or not. In the box there um, you're also gonna find the remote control so you can start and stop recordings from that remote control and aside from that you're gonna find the user manual. And you may want to check out the user manual if you want to find out um, the Wi-Fi password and the app that um, you need to install so you can control the camera from your phone. And aside from that, we're going to find a bunch of mounts and stickers. So you can basically mount or attach this camera anywhere. The camera itself is mostly made out of plastic and I have to say that it does feel somewhat cheap, mostly if you'd be to compare this to a GoPro. But let's keep in mind the price of this one and the price of a GoPro. So this one is much um, cheaper. So on the front there we have the lens and the power button, that's also a mode button, at the top we have another button, that's the OK or the recording button, on one side we have a couple of buttons so you can zoom in and zoom out, you can also turn on the Wi-Fi network from there, and on the other side we have the micro USB charging port, the slot for the SD card and the HDMI out. So this um, action camera can take SD cards up to 128 um, gigs and it can also record while charging. So let's say that you have a power bank with you, you can connect that power bank to the camera itself and then you can record while the camera is charging. So there are two batteries that come with this um, camera and on one charge you can typically get between 45 and 60 minutes if you are recording in 4K or about an hour and 10, an hour and 20 minutes if you are recording in 1080p. It really depends how you use the camera if you keep the screen on constantly and so on. Talking about the screen, this is also a touch screen but um, you cannot control the brightness. So what you're seeing on the screen now is basically the only brightness available um, for this screen. I guess it's good enough for the price um, of the camera. And at the bottom here we have a little plastic door um, that if you remove you can access um, the battery. We have features like a time lapse, so the camera can do time lapses. Um, this is a quick example of a time lapse that I've done the other day. And we also have a car mode available. So what is a car mode? Well, the camera turns on and off every time you turn on and off um, the car. So you can basically use this as a dash camera if you would like. If you want to control the camera from your smartphone, you have to install the Ape Man um, app on your smartphone and then you'd connect to the camera's Wi-Fi and then you open the app and then you can see whatever the camera sees right on your phone. This works good up to like 5-7 meters away from the camera, more than that and um, it will disconnect. Um, whenever you're connected you can also change some settings and you can also download whatever um, footage you have saved on the camera right on your phone, so very easy to do. Alright, so next I think we are going to move on and check out um, some sample recordings so you can actually see how the internal microphone on this camera sounds. From what I've read online, this doesn't support any external microphones, so you're going to have to rely on the internal microphone at all times. So let's check out those recordings and I'll be right back. Alright, we have a quick audio test to this new action camera that I'm trying out. So I'm inside the car and all the windows are closed, so you should only be able to hear my voice, nothing else um, aside from my voice. You don't have the fan um, running, nothing. So this is how an audio recording from this um, action camera would sound like inside the car. Alright, for our second audio test um, with this new action camera that I'm trying out, um, I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second, of course I have the stabilization turned on, but I am outside so there is a bit more noise um, aside from my voice and it's also a tiny bit windy so you may hear um, some wind as well. So yeah, this is how an audio recording from this action camera would sound like. And as you've heard for yourself, the internal microphone isn't that amazing, but I was kind of expecting that taking in consideration the price of the camera. So the microphone is okay, you're gonna hear the sound, but it's definitely not the best um, sound out there. 
As I mentioned earlier, this has EMI stabilization and you can use the EMI stabilization even for 4K at 60 frames per second um, recordings. You cannot use the EMI stabilization if you're recording in 1080p at 120 frames per second or 720p and um, 240 frames per second. So for all the other resolutions, um, you can um, use the EMI stabilization. And with that being said, let's check out some sample recordings at different resolutions so you can see how the EMI stabilization works. All right, for our first test for EMI stabilization of this new action camera that I have, I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. I have the EMI stabilization turned on and I am walking normally as you can probably see for yourself. So I'll try walking a bit faster now, just so you can see how this does. We'll stop here for a bit, we'll pan right slowly. And back left. So yeah, this is how the EMI stabilization would look like if you're walking normally. Alright, so we have a quick test um, with this new action camera that I'm trying out. For this test I'm riding the bicycle, we are recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and we also have um, the EMI stabilization turned on. So I'll try going as fast as possible so you can see how the EMI stabilization does under these conditions. We'll go this way and this way. So yeah. 4K at 30 frames per second uh, while riding the bicycle. Let's turn right. And I'm also gonna do a quick running test. Once again, I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and we have uh, the EMI stabilization on at this resolution. So we'll walk all the way to my uh, bicycle there. So yeah. This is how the EMI stabilization would look like if you are running. And I also want to show you how the EMI stabilization would look like if you are recording in 1080p at 30 frames per second. For this test I am walking as you can probably see for yourself and I'm holding the camera in my hand and I'm gonna start running in a bit just so you can see how this would do in 1080p at 30 frames per second if you are running. So yeah. This is how the EMI stabilization works um, and looks like for 1080p at 30 frames per second recordings. And as you've seen for yourself, the EMI stabilization works, but it's definitely far from uh, perfect. But I was kind of expecting that, taking in consideration the price of the camera. I remember I've tried another action camera that was um, fairly cheap called the ACASO Brave 6 Plus, and um, I feel that that one has better EMI stabilization in all those situations. So that may be another action camera that you could consider if you don't like the EMI stabilization on this one. Alright, moving on to video quality. So, as I said earlier, according to the manufacturer, this can record in 4K at 60 frames per second. But realistically, that 4K at 60 frames per second is just 1080p that's upscaled to 4K. So, even though you're kind of recording in 4K at 30 or 4K at 60 frames per second, in reality you're only recording in 1080p and that's upscaled to 4K. So I will show you some 4K recordings, but you will see there is really no difference between the 4K recordings and the 1080p recordings. So let's check out those daytime and nighttime recordings and I'll come back so we can talk about them. We are moving on to another quick recording in 4K at 30 frames per second with this new Apeman um, dash camera that I'm trying out. Of course I'm using um, the EMI stabilization for this recording and as you can probably see for yourself I am walking um, fairly slow. So we'll stop somewhere around here. We have a beautiful blue sky and also a bunch of um, fall colors. So yeah, this is how 4K at 30 frames per second would this uh, action camera would look like. Alright, we are moving on to another quick 4K at 30 frames per second with this um, action camera that I'm trying out. Um, once again, I have the EMI stabilization um, turned on and I am walking normally. I'm gonna walk a bit faster now, just so you can see how the EMI stabilization does. And after we pass this tree here, um, we're gonna stop and pan left. So we'll stop here and pan left slowly. And back right. And I guess up a bit. So yeah, 4K at 30 frames per second uh, with the EMI stabilization turned on. Next we have a 4K at 60 frames per second recording and according to the camera settings um, we have EMI stabilization for um, 4K at 60 frames per second recordings as well. I'm gonna have to see how this um, footage actually looks on the computer. I can't really see much um, on the camera screen so we'll go running for a bit so we can see how the EMI stabilization does um, in 4K at 60 frames per second. 
I'll keep going and we're gonna stop somewhere around here we'll pan left slowly somewhere around here so basically towards the sun and then this way so yeah 4k at 60 frames per second I also wanted to show you how a 1080p at 60 frames per second uh, with this action camera would look like according to the camera's um, settings menu we also get um, image stabilization for 1080p at 60 frames um, per second recording so we're gonna cross the street somewhere around here so you can see how uh, the image stabilization would look like while uh, walking and we'll go this way so yeah 1080p at 60 frames per second and I figured I might as well show you a 1080p at 30 frames per second recording with this um, action camera once again we have image stabilization at this resolution and as you can probably see for yourself I am uh, walking uh, fairly slow and holding the camera in my hand so we're gonna stop somewhere around here we're gonna pan right so after this uh, ambulance basically and uh, pointing the camera towards the sun right now so we'll walk this way for a bit so yeah 1080p at 30 frames per second all right this is a quick um, video test in low light with this new ape man action camera that i'm uh, trying out so for this recording i'm doing 4k at 30 frames per second and walking um, fairly slow there are some lights on the street here so it's not totally dark but even like this um, it doesn't look the image doesn't look that bright on the screen here and also it looks quite a bit uh, noisy but I'm gonna have to see how this actually looks on the computer so we'll stop here for a second I'm gonna pan left slowly towards those buildings and we'll keep walking for a bit so yeah 4k at 30 frames per second uh, while walking in low light Alright, so after checking out those recordings, I have to say that that's exactly what I was expecting from a camera like this, because you always have to take into consideration the price um, when you look at the footage from an action camera, because if you want GoPro quality, you're not gonna get that from a, a camera this cheap. So if you want a camera to start with, um, like a beginner's camera, a camera for a kid or something like that, if you don't mind recording in 1080p, this will do great because I've noticed that the 1080p recordings actually looked a bit better than those um, fake for, um, 4K recordings. So for that, I feel that the camera does um, better. But if you want to record in 4K and you want a bit better video quality, you're definitely gonna have to spend more money and get yourself um, a better action camera. You could also check out that ACASO Brave 6 Plus that I've mentioned um, earlier. That one actually records um, in real 4K. But for the price, once again, I feel that the recordings are um, appropriate. The same kind of goes for pictures. So if you take pictures during the day, they turn out okay, even though most phones these days would actually take better pictures than um, this action camera. But if you plan to record them, um, to take any pictures at night, you're probably better off not taking any pictures because this is not gonna do that great in low light because it has a very small sensor um, in there that um, cannot capture enough light. So to quickly conclude this video for the price, I feel that this does great, but if you want better quality, you're going to have to spend more money and get yourself um, a better camera. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.